Operating a powered pallet jack at Agilent Technologies is one of the many duties in the day-to-day -day operations. A powered pallet jack offers more lifting capabilities, move of heavier loads, and moving heavy loads across carpet much easier. Before using a power pallet jack, you must first become familiar with the pallet jack. Before becoming licensed to use the power pallet jack, you must first learn how to inspect the jack before use, the controls, driving characteristics, how to lift the load, and finally, parking the pallet jack after use. So let's begin. Before thinking of using a pallet jack, Agilent's policy is that all operators must be wearing steel-toed shoes. This will protect the operator from the pallet jack rolling over their foot or any other accident while using the power pallet jack. Before using the power pallet jack, the vehicle inspection record must be filled out. This needs to be done on a daily basis. This is the inspection record. The date along with your initials must be filled out before checking the rest. Each category needs to be checked and initialed on the inspection record. To use a power pallet jack, it is very important to know the controls. The controls is where you can lift, lower, honk the horn, and change the speed of the jack. To begin using the power pallet jack, the key must be inserted into the keyhole and turned on. The flashing light will turn on, indicating the pallet jack is on. Also, the battery charge meter will indicate the charge on the battery. Now that the power pallet jack has been turned on, let's go over the controls that will be used. First is the horn. This will sound the horn, alerting anyone within earshot that you are approaching with the pallet jack. To lift the pallet or lift the forks on the pallet jack, the lift button is pressed. This will raise the forks up to allow you to move the desired load. Once the pallet jack has been lifted, you must use the drop button to lower the forks back down. This button will lower the forks back down to the desired height. To move the pallet jack, you must use the twist control. Twisting the control in the desired direction of travel will move the pallet jack in that direction. The more you twist in one direction, the faster the pallet jack will go. The less you twist, the slower it will go. To allow the jack to move, you must grab the handle and tilt it towards you. If the handle is in the resting position, it will not move. Also, if the handle is tilted too far, the jack will not move. The handle also is the steering of the pallet jack. To steer the pallet jack in the desired direction, just move the handle towards that direction. The belly switch prevents you from being pinned in between the power pallet jack and the wall. If the belly switch is hit in any way, the pallet jack will immediately stop and travel in the opposite direction. This is crucial while operating in tight areas. While operating a powered pallet jack, it is very important to stay alert of your surroundings. Staying clear of scraping walls or running into objects is very important. Also, when using a powered pallet jack, in the hallways, all pedestrians have the right of way. When approaching intersections, look first before entering them because pedestrians always have the right of way. When driving the powered pallet jack, you must drive it forward. This is with the pallet jack's forks behind you and one hand on the controls walking forward. You must stay looking forward in order to see what is ahead of you. When lifting a skid with the power pallet jack, the pallet must first be on level ground. Always back into the skid with the forks in front of you. When entering the skid, make sure the wheels on the forks clear the bottom of the skid. Otherwise, this will split the skid and make it unusable. Once entering the skid and the wheels are clear of the bottom of the skid, push the lift button until the skid comes off the ground. The skid will no longer be on the ground and is safe to travel. Once done traveling with the load, find an open space to drop the skid. First inspect the area to make sure there is adequate space for the skid or load to fit into. Once you have verified there is enough space, back the pallet jack carrying the load into the area. Once in the area, push the drop button completely lowering the load to the ground. Before pulling the pallet jack out of the skid, make sure the jack is completely lowered so you do not continue carrying the load. When traveling down a tight hallway, always back down it with the forks in front. This will allow you to see what is in front of you as well as keeping sight of the load. Also, you will be able to drop the load and pull out back down the hallway, therefore not forcing you to turn the pallet jack around in a small area. The ramp outside of Agilent's loading dock allows different vehicles to enter and exit the building with ease. When traveling down and up the ramp, always keep the load downhill. 
Keeping the load downhill prevents the load from slipping off the forks. Sometimes when driving a pallet jack, it can get out of control. If for any reason the power pallet jack gets out of control, drop the handle. This will stop the pallet jack immediately. If for any reason you leave the pallet jack unattended, you must remove your key if the pallet jack becomes out of sight or if you walk more than 25 feet away from it. After using the power pallet jack, park it in the designated area. Make sure that the forks are completely lowered and the pallet jack comes to a complete stop before letting go of the handle. After done, make sure you remove the key, turning the power pallet jack off. This prevents anyone who is unauthorized to use the pallet jack from doing so.